This is the worst storm I've ever been in. I think we're going down. Today, we're going to be flying the 747 with passengers through a massive storm. Let's get started. Hello, first class people. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. So enter the flight deck here, and there's a whole bunch of buttons. Oh my gosh, there's just so many. First thing we need to do is start our APU. So we're going to click that and then turn on all that. I don't even know. All right, APU's on. We're going to be starting all main engines. Here we go. All main engines are being started. We're also going to turn on these right here. Perfect. And now all of them should just pop up. There we go. All right, all four engines are on. That's very simple. All right, so how do we take this off? Okay, we need to turn on hydraulic pumps. We probably should have done that already. Dude, it is so windy out here already. Our exhaust is already flying to the left. What we're going to do now is disable our park brake, and I think we're clear for takeoff. So up and down is our throttle. There we go. We'll pull throttle on takeoff here. So we are on 180% throttle. Are the wheels locked up? Oh, all the wheels are completely locked. I don't know what's going on. We're sliding. We're sliding. Oh my gosh. Okay, pull up lightly pull up oh we completely went in a slide there i don't know what happened we're in the desert so there shouldn't be any ice i can tell you that okay let's put our landing gear up probably calm down with this angle this is definitely a little bit aggressive all right landing gear is going up as you can clearly see that is pretty cool though how it's going up okay i really like that all right so we did use this plane to um fly in the flak firing zone with passengers of course but now we're going to be flying it through a storm and this is like the beginning of it so it's not even that bad right now but before we do anything crazy we need to find um our altitude hold so we're going to do altitude hold to the max here all right we're rising altitude any moment once this actually does start leveling out we will be able to walk around this plane and kind of talk to some passengers yep there it goes it's starting to level out all right i think we're good oh it's starting to go back down um what's going on okay it's just the altitude old trying to correct itself all right well this plane's flying itself right now let's go say hi to some of the passengers so we have some first class passengers here watching a um third person view of the plane so why don't i go sit down here we have a cool little tail view right there so there must be like a camera or something on the tail back there hello first class i'll give you guys your food and drinks in a bit here i'm gonna go check up on the rest of the passengers of course all right so then we have a whole bunch of people also down here so let's go all the way to the front there's no one actually up in this part so if we go back here a little bit there's um a person every couple rows you know there's oh gosh okay um that's lovely anyways we have some people right here watching the third person view so everyone's watching like the same um camera right now i have no idea why that doesn't seem that fun but um in this plane we have a whole bunch of seating of course we have numbered seats so we have around like 300 200 -ish seats in this thing which is absolutely insane for a plane but then we have this um door right here i don't i hope that wasn't an emergency door but um it does open pretty fully that is awesome geez they're really just displaying that thing everywhere i mean i guess these people don't actually even have any um cameras or monitors but um i wanted to see if there's any actual like bathrooms we can walk in because most of them are like completely shut so oh we have a really good flight attendant area over here all right we're gonna start the ramen noodles then we have some dishes area and then this is a really first class area over here so it's pretty awesome i also wanted to see if there's like an emergency exit that leads straight on the wing oh my okay there is all right getting some fresh air oh wow this is actually much larger than i thought it would be if i ever did walk on the wing for some reason but yep here we are we are on the wing hopefully i don't weigh a lot and don't like completely size the plane to the left here but i think we'll be fine we're just doing some daily maintenance on the engines here all right so what's going on down here oh oh gosh i'm flying or something i don't know what's going on oh no but yep let's go ahead and close that door oh my gosh what happened here there's so much damage um that's an issue okay i hope there's nothing important under that all right we completely forgot about first class all right so we need to get them their drinks and stuff so i think um where are we even going today i have no idea we're gonna go to like the arctic or something hello first class what can i get you guys today we have some debbie's cookies um on board with us oh there's an actual working bathroom with a working mirror and a whole um window right here that we can see some of the storm clouds forming in oh lovely all right you guys want any um debbie's cookies she's down there the actual ceo of the company is actually downstairs if you want to go say hi to her i don't know why she didn't choose herself some first class but I guess she's pretty humble about it. So oh, it's definitely starting to pick up a little bit the second I got in here. Okay, that's good. Can I um, actually control this thing? Okay, yes, I can. So I realized there's like a whole bunch of room actually in this plane in weird area. So we could probably fit a whole other floor up here if we wanted to. I mean, they could. I don't really want to do that. But we can put a whole other floor up there and also all the way down here. So there's actually a cargo bay down here. So they did fit something with that. Same with the landing gear. And then it's just basically nothing else. Oh, that's the computer room. Oh my gosh. I don't know how this isn't crashing my game. That's so many like electrical composites. I don't even know. Okay, well, this is pretty cool though. Um, guys, we have an issue. I completely forgot pack flows, and that means the entire cabin has been like decompressurized this entire time. Or it at least hasn't had heating. I know that for a fact. So we're gonna turn on some pack flows here, and then there we go. All right temperature in the cabins going up dude that was at like 15 celsius that entire time oh my gosh they're probably all frozen to death oh 
Uh, what just happened in here? Why is there so much damage? Neotastic to ATC. We've lost all control of the plane. Um, we need to find welders immediately. I don't know what just happened, but our entire dashboard is completely broken. Oh, gosh. Don't even ask how I got this welder. It was like an entire mission I had to do, but um, we're going to be repairing this stuff here. Oh, my gosh. There's so much damage. I'm surprised this thing didn't even crash without any of that stuff working, but I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. We're going to be slightly turning towards um mainland here. Mainland is this one right over there there so oh it's like completely the wrong way okay turn off autopilot i don't need any of this on turn it all off there we go now we can fly like an actual jet here all right that was simple it took around like five seconds to angle the correct way on like autopilot oh my gosh it is really picking up out here um everybody please get their heads away from the windows um i'm just letting you guys know these windows really aren't made for storms like this because if it starts hailing we're definitely gonna die especially me because i'm at like the dead front of the plane oh there's damage actually out on the exterior part um okay oh Oh, I saw some right there too. Um, this is not good, guys. We're having issues already. I think I need to tell the passengers that they need to get in their seat right now, dude. This is some insane turbulence we're having right now. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Please get in your seat. We're having some slightly concerning um storms going on. We are having some turbulence. Everyone, get in their seats immediately. All right, let them know. I hope they heard me. We're just gonna continue our flight here, 13 kilometers. All right, how's it going? For oh, that door is open. Oh, that's probably not a good security thing right there. All right, how's your guys' flight going? You watching? your cool little tv show right there that looks really boring honestly i think we're starting to actually fly over mainland right now or i hope it is at least or it could be a massive oil spill um nope it's mainland okay that is a good sign yeah so we could probably could have just looked at our map here yep that's our map and uh yep everything's looking clear um neotastic to atc we will be flying over um what's the airfield called o'neill yep o'neill airfield momentarily but we will um request landing if this storm picks up it's really getting bad out here honestly so do not be surprised if I do call in, we're just lowering altitude here for some reasons. Neotastic to all passengers. I'm sorry about the flashing lights. Okay, I'm going to be turning off galley lights. That's definitely not. I see them flashing. Oh my gosh. Okay, shut all the lights down right now. Passengers will definitely be refunding after that one. Okay, all lights have been shut off in the cabins. I'm sorry about that. We're going to have to do a block out here because this uh, storm or weather or whatever just completely like messed with our electricity right there. Definitely not a good thing. But all engines are looking good. They're all in sync. That is a good sign. All right, so we're just flying over the mainland, kind of running a little bit of a tour here. Um, let's set it down there. Is that like a massive train? Oh, wow, that's cool. Uh, Neotastic to ATC, we've lost all electrical. Why is our fire suppression on for our engines? Oh, it's dumping our fuel. That's what it's doing. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. We are dumping all of our fuel right now over mainland. Oh, gosh. Oh, all right, we've regained electricity. It's coming back slowly. Oh, we're this is really not good, guys. This is not good at all. We've lost all power. I think a lot of our fuel just actually completely went out of the engines for some reason reason why is that even broken yeah we just had a low psi warning actually there for a little bit but um why is the temperature also so low something's going on in the cabin right now um i think the apu completely oh there we go okay something happened we forgot to turn on all of those all right lovely and they'll turn those on and there we go 60 celsius that'll work it is getting really windy outside you can like see my plane kind of tilting from actually where the exhaust is at it's really insane atc please prepare for me making a landing i'm not gonna do it yet but just always please be on standby i am really having issues here um i think we are pretty low on fuel we had some fuel issues a couple seconds ago i'm trying to find where my um actual fuel tank display is at because i can't even see how much fuel i have still probably should know about that yes i do know um i'm just kind of like a new pilot here flying a 747 so you know all right i think intercom systems up again let's let passengers know what's going on this is your captain speaking we're having some power outages on the plane currently um please just remain in your seats do not use the bathroom as the toilets will not work thank you all right perfect i hope they heard me i I hope I was loud enough. Flight has been a little bit rough so far. I'm going to be honest. It has been very rough. I'm definitely going to get a whole bunch of refund requests, but I'm going to decline them all because I can actually do that. Um, what is going on with engine three? 15, 15, 18, 15. Something's going on with three right now that we are not aware about. Engine three is running at some much higher RPS than the actual normal engine. So 15 and 19. So around four RPS higher, which is actually really bad. We might have to shut engine three down here momentarily. Uh, we're going to be taking some evasive maneuvers to dodge the lightning of course but um everything's looking clear besides that oh my gosh that's actually like maxing out oh what just happened to engine three um oh 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 okay um that's an issue okay neotastic day atc we've lost engine three engine three is completely out of the game currently um we're gonna be we're gonna be shutting off um engine three and engine two 
right now to try countering that. So engine three and engine two. There we go. And then we're gonna have to do it up here also because there's like multiple start things. So engine two and three are completely shut down. We're running off one and four currently to try having it be as stable as possible. Thank gosh for this thing's um four engines because we would definitely not be doing too good without them. Although this can fly on one engine in real life, it definitely cannot do that in Stormer. So I'm just gonna let you guys know that. Engine three is not shutting off even after. You know what? We need to activate fire pull for engine three. Engine three has fire pull on and there we go. All right, fire is out for engine three and it has been completely shut off. All right, perfect. Engine three is gone out of here and oh, what is that? Oh, that's a lightning strike. Um, That wasn't anywhere near us. I think we're fine. Why are none of my controls working? Hold on, I'm clicking stuff right now. It's just rolling the plane. I'm not here. I'm not even touching anything. It's just rolling. Um, Wait, are, are we losing stuff here? Hold on, full left rudder, full left, full left. Um, We're losing all pitch control right now. I think we're having issues. Hydraulic, did I turn off something hydraulic like? I don't think I did. We're having a low PSI warning also pop off. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good at all. Um, We're having issues. We're having issues. I'm not rolling this thing. Neotastic two passengers. We're having some slight rolling issues right now. I have no idea why. Okay. Um, Anything? Okay. We're activating all engines once again. I think that'll help it. All engines are being activated. I don't know if this is going to help, but we're kind of nose diving straight into the ocean. So it better help. Um, This is not good. Okay. Turn on our reading lights here. What's wrong? I don't know what's on. So those two engines right there are trying to start up. Um, Let's see. Wait, what? Uh, 16. Why was that at 16 there for a second? Um, If it did fix itself, I would hope it'd fix itself about now. Is that a ship down there? Nope, that's an oil rig. Oh, lovely. I don't want to be going on one of those. All right, Um, please fix. Um, What's that? Low PSI on an engine. Lovely. Oh, gosh. Oh, I think it recovered itself. I don't know what just happened, but it just... um. Wait, what is it doing? What is this plane doing right now? It's like nose diving into the ground. Um, where We've lost all hydraulic control. I need immediate assistance right now. We're going to be activating our flight recorder right now. I don't even know where that button's at, but um, it's not working. Working. Okay, all engines have just restarted. Our um, engine fire engine is still actually turned on. Oh gosh, we're gonna be turning on fire suppression for engine three right now. Although there isn't a fire, there's still smoke coming out of it that isn't the same color as the other ones. What is that under our plane? Oh, um, oh lovely. What in the world is that, dude? I think we got struck by lightning. Why? Oh, there's a fire. There's a fire. Okay, lovely. All right, so we have an active fire. We're gonna be turning on autopilot here for some altitude. Hold. I need to go back there and check out what's going on for myself all right we're gonna grab ourselves a fire extinguisher let's get rid of our welding torch and grab our fire extinguisher hello i'm sorry for the no lights back here um i can see the fire from the main hallway oh gosh okay i don't even want to know what's going on back here hello what's going on do you guys see anything oh um oh lovely person we have an active fire going on directly below us. Oh, there's some fire damage too. Okay, fire extinguisher. Oh, it's not going to work because it's just going to go directly behind us. Okay, maybe if we angle it down like this. Okay, that should work. That should work. Um, It's not. Oh, okay, lovely. So it looks like we have a uh, fuel fire of some sort. I'm going to be locking myself in the flight deck right now. I don't even want to know what's going on back there. I just know it's completely engulfed in flames. We got struck by lightning on the bottom of our plane somehow. I thought it'd strike the top, but nope. The bottom is uh, on fire by a lightning strike. Okay. I thought we had like some type of paint to to, like not have that happen but i guess not um okay so i'm gonna be definitely making an emergency landing now um i'm gonna keep all engines on even though they're still on fire this thing is slowly entering a flat spin to the right i'm full left um pitch thing right now oh that was really bad lightning strike okay we still have a like i'm going full left on our actual joystick rudder thing here it's just not working we're still tilting to the right i don't know how much power engine three has gone through but it's insane well what we're gonna do is turn off autopilot here and then we're gonna just pull up as hard as we can to actually turn left this was my last uh, measure here all right so that did work we're just going to be inverted here and then oh uh starting to flip itself over automatically okay i don't know what's going on here but something really bad oh it's it's leaking to our wing that's where all of our fuel is at oh gosh um wait why are all the engines like maxing out oh they're all at 19 that's what happened to the third engine right there and it ended up exploding um what's gonna happen oh our landing gear is actually starting to deploy for some reason um what just happened to engine four oh, uh we're, okay we're definitely gonna enter a flat oh engine one is gone too dude what is going on with our what um okay something definitely just happened dude this is the worst storm i've ever been in i think we're going down this time okay we're going down deploy landing gear still on full throttle we're gonna try gliding down but it's not gonna work we need to land before we actually enter the water here oh this is gonna be rough okay the front landing gear is trying to deploy even though it's oh nope up oh, the front landing gear destroyed itself okay okay well this is going to be an interesting landing i'm not gonna say it's gonna be good like at all but oh my oh um okay i don't know what just happened but the entire plane's broken okay well there's no flying this i can tell you that i think the front landing 
gear got a little bit glitched out there and we're gonna be going down now um where's my welder torch at i had earlier that would probably be useful about now um is it still in here i don't see it oh gosh hello where's my welder hello lady i hope your flight's going well it's a little bit bumpy i can tell you that i'm looking for my welder it's nowhere oh gosh and we're stalling oh oh lovely we're going to be hitting the ground oh it's starting to actually stop raining but all engines have completely cut out we are going down pretty fast i can say that um flashlight's not working oh i think we got emp or something oh gosh okay flashlight's a little bit blinky we are going down oh gosh i don't know if we're gonna nope we're definitely gonna go on the water this is a water lane i'm gonna try getting through the back of the plane right now oh there that's the land right there here we go this is a water landing i need to get to an emergency exit okay get in the seat for this landing here we go oh this is gonna be rough it's really shallow here too oh there we go we have landed um there is water up in the bridge there's water in the bridge everybody evacuate um we can definitely not go that okay everybody follow me follow me we're taking on water taking on water follow me right now follow me follow me all right we have an emergency exit right here i think there's some lady up here too all right follow me oh we're starting to swim everybody get out of the first class i can only rescue first class because of reasons here um the plane's having some slight issues everybody swim out of the plane come on follow me all right you're swimming like that that works i thought we had more than two people but okay i'm gonna be closing that door so the plane does stop flooding though all right close that door i feel bad if anyone's still in that thing all right oh a uh, third person got out lovely all right everybody get up on the plane right here like me okay you need assistance lovely okay i have to lift all you guys up because you guys are so helpless oh i see blood down there oh my okay nope i didn't see that anyways what are you talking about oh there's oil oh no not this again not this again i really don't like this oil okay um guys i don't think the plane's gonna be floating for much longer there's like really no point of even going up here well um that was an interesting plane crash yep there we go now we're all swimming that's probably gonna be it for this plane crash video let me know if we should do more of these of course make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye